Hey everybody, what's going on? Hey, every time I try to make this video, it seems like the weather changes on me. Today, I am comparing steel to lead, and I even got a hold of some tungsten shells uh, from heavy metal. But anyway, we're gonna compare at about 25 yards how many sheets of plywood will each material go through. So we're gonna use some number two steel, we're gonna do number two lead, and number two tungsten, and we're gonna see how many sheets of plywood uh, that it goes through. Start with a Federal, this is an ounce and three eighths of number two, and it is going at 1,550 feet per second. The other thing I got here today is a uh, Caldwell lead sled. So hopefully you guys won't see me flinching on camera every time I try to squeeze one of these bad boys off. But anyway. Well, that don't kick at all. Not in that lead sled. I was curious how that was gonna feel. It's a little awkward with the uh, hearing protection. Well, I can see where one pellet made it through the third sheet of plywood. One pellet through the third sheet of plywood. Let's flip that third sheet up. That's weird. Oh yeah, there it is. It went through right there. So the second sheet of plywood, we got some breakthrough. Different places here, but didn't quite didn't quite make it through. There's a spot where two pellets kind of hit simultaneously right into each other. It's a third one. So that is federal steel, and it's not deformed at all. I mean, it's pretty hard stuff, so. Anyway, let's see what the front of the second sheet looks like. Definitely, uh, you know, getting a little bit of energy there to get through that second sheet. The first sheet, no problem whatsoever. Huh, interesting. One pellet made it through the back. Ooh, that white paint is really hard to see with the sun shining on it. Um, so the only number two lead that I could figure out um, was this old uh, Remington Express. Um, this is a uh, two and three quarter inch. This is an old lead uh, like duck load. I'm not sure what the velocity of it is. I would imagine it's probably around 1300 feet a second. Pretty old shells. It's just some stuff that, you know, my granddad probably bought, I don't know, probably 40, 50 years ago. I'm not sure if this would be considered magnum lead, if it's chilled lead. I know it's not plated. I can kind of see one sitting in there. Um, but anyway, we're going to see what happens with this. This is, again, the exact same setup. I got three sheets of the exact same plywood. Um, let's see what, uh, what it does here. So basically, all I got to do is just pull the trigger, right? Yeah. All right, fire in the hole. Woo. Let's go see what we did. This particular round did not knock the plywood down like the steel did. Well, here is the face of it. So let's just go ahead and see. I got nothing out the back. I don't see a, a one. I don't see anything here. Okay, well, let's see. That's kind of interesting because lead is heavier than steel. Now, one of the things that I'm wondering is that the steel is really hard and it's slippery, okay? Lead is kind of a porous material and it's more soft and malleable. So what I'm wondering is 
even though the weight of the steel is less per per cubic centimeter it's less grams per cubic centimeter than the lead but because it's harder does it penetrate harder stuff like plywood better than the lead would um, at this case I'm kind of thinking so so this was interesting you know got a pretty good pattern there and it's definitely definitely went through Let's see here so we definitely went through the first sheet of plywood here and honestly it went through pretty pretty much no problem kind of what I was expecting I, so there's the lead and that's not always perfectly round whenever it comes out because it compresses after it's fired and it can actually deform it somewhat but that is uh, that's number two lead so anyhow let's see did it go through I wonder how many made it through the second sheet of plywood in comparison so I mean there's definitely some embedded into the front of the second sheet but uh, wow I don't see any that made it through there's nothing actually that made it through the second sheet of plywood not one so we had some of the steel that made it through um, of course it's going a lot faster too you know it's probably 250 feet a second faster than the lead i'm guessing so it'd be interesting to know what the velocity of the lead is huh well that's interesting so i guess i only need two sheets of plywood for this next test let me let me go get that set up okay so the third round is a heavy metal brand uh this is tungsten shot it is also number two. It is a ounce and three eighths. And I believe the box says it's going 1500 feet per second. All right, let's see what this puppy does. This is supposed to be the bad boy on the block. Uh, you know, I don't know. Is it gonna be any better than the steel at, at this range? Let's see. I'm firing the hole. Ho oh. ho! Now, I know you guys can't see it, but I'm looking at the plywood down there, and that looks like it got hit by just a ton of energy. It didn't fold it forward like the steel did, but that could just be the way I had it stacked up. But I could see stuff coming off of the plywood. Uh, that was kind of interesting to see. So let's run down there and let's see, maybe it went through all three sheets of plywood. I'm not sure. So the big question is, is, is the tungsten worth this $45 a box? Um, that's a hard question to answer. So comparing the steel to the lead and the tungsten shooting plywood, some could argue whether that's a fair comparison because we're not comparing uh, the flesh of an animal. And it's pretty well proven that the heavier a material is, the more energy it's going to carry a longer distance. So we know that the tungsten is going to have more energy uh, further out than the steel is. But the real question is, is that, is it really that much better? Is it worth spending twice as much or in some cases uh, four times as much? I mean, I can find uh, certain brands of steel loaded shells for like 12 13 dollars a box okay um, some of this tungsten i got it on sale it was around 45 dollars so let's just say 50 dollars a box so three and a half times the amount uh that the steel costs and so the first sheet of plywood obviously um now this isn't a patterning test. We're not really just trying to pattern. We're just trying to see how many sheets of plywood it'll go through. So that's the front. Did anything make it through the back? Wow, okay, not a one. Again, nothing, nothing through that third sheet. So nothing came through the last sheet of plywood. So the third piece of plywood back, there's absolutely no penetration through the back of it. Is there penetration through the second sheet? Oh yeah. 
so we've got pretty good penetration actually quite a bit got some embedded into the third sheet so um, that again already <clears throat> I know we had one piece of steel that could just be an anomaly that that one piece of steel made it through the third sheet maybe that was a weak spot in the plywood um, but anyway if you check this out quite a bit of it came through so that's that's pretty pretty impressive right there so that is tungsten it's kind of misshape and it's all I don't know it's kind of weird stuff look at that it's all uh, the extruding process it's definitely not perfectly round so the tungsten actually performed pretty well it was embedded into the third sheet quite a bit of it um, it came through the second sheet and the steel um, you know I'm surprised it actually performs quite a you know quite a bit better than expected uh, the penetration on that was was pretty good I mean the lead is what kind of surprised me I thought the lead would carry uh, a little more energy than that but I think that's because the lead is so soft that it just it deforms and so it's kind of like an expanding bullet out of a rifle uh, when it's mushrooms out it kind of slows it down so that was kind of interesting to see but anyway I've got a couple other uh, ammos that I want to try and uh, better do it before it gets too dark but uh, anyway I got a surprise we're gonna throw in here for you okay just for fun I don't have lead and tungsten in BB size shot but what I do have is a federal speed shock this is the same as the first uh, steel shell that I shot in number two but this is just BB so just for uh, scientific sakes we're gonna see how much more energy does BB have than number two at that same range so I have again three sheets of plywood set up um, we had one piece of number two make it through the third piece of plywood so I'm kind of curious um, if the BB will make it through all three sheets uh, this is a test I haven't done yet so this is this is gonna be a surprise to me we'll see what happens so fire in the hole So that was a three and a half inch BB. Um, I'm curious to see if it went through all three sheets of plywood. I did not do this test prior, so this is a this is going to be new to me. But uh, so I can already tell you, it didn't go through the third sheet. It knocked him over again. So I don't have any penetration through the back. There's a piece of BB shot right there. I'm pretty sure. Let's see if it's in the third sheet. Oh. So some of it did make it into the third sheet. In fact, a lot of it came through. I was high on my shot, so it came through the top of the plywood here. But look at this. This just stacked in here. Let's see here. There's a bunch of it. It's just all along the bottom of the plywood here this is all bb size steel dude that's some nasty some nasty stuff but, uh, so that's bb a little more energy than the number two i would say but that was kind of interesting to see so i got one more test here that i'm gonna do and with the plywood and i'm gonna get set up for that so, okay so Again, for scientific purposes, um, I have a Federal, this is a three inch uh, double-lot buck round, and the Federal Premium, your standard buck shot. Uh, muzzle velocity, 1,210 feet per second. They gotta throw that extra 10 feet in there, I guess. Um, that's not real fast by, by you know shotgun shell standards, but Anyway, um, this is double op buck. That is, uh, that's 34 caliber. I'd have to look that up again. 34 or 36 caliber, I can't remember. But anyway, that's pretty big shot. So anyway, we're gonna give this a try. I've got about, I think 12 sheets 
10 sheets of plywood lined up. I have no idea if it's going to make it through all of them, but we're going to see how many it goes through. I got a feeling it'll go through quite a few, so. That might have went through all the way. There was some stuff that come off the back. So I don't see where any of it came through the back here, but let's see how many sheets did it go through. So I got one, let's see here, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, ten sheets of plywood. I think it might have started to go into the six sheet of plywood. So you can see where there's some stuff embedded here from the back. So five sheets of plywood is, oh, look at those two are actually stuck together. That's kind of weird. There we go. Oh yeah, so it was in that fifth sheet. There's a piece of it, that's copper plated buckshot right there. Man, that is some big stuff. So I'm gonna try to get these out. So it's into the fifth sheet pretty good. Okay, this is the uh, the double op buck. Copper plated. Yeah, and that is the back of the third sheet of plywood. And this was all embedded into the fifth. I don't see any really embedded into the fourth. Oh, I see one up there. I take that back. So the fourth sheet, there's one in the fourth there. Kind of hard to see, but anyway. If you like today's video, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Um, I usually try to answer questions. Uh, you know, I'm not an expert, but uh, I've been doing a lot of this for quite a while. And, and uh, you know, it's, it's fun to interact with you guys out there. So anyway, you guys stay safe and I'll see you next time.